right, 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 right. It's the uh, one minute, just not one minute past uh, eleven o'clock. Uh, where were we over to here? Refresh. Christmas skins week two, and we've got Santa. Yes, gingerbread double door. Okay, right. That actually, listen, 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 listen. I'm not going to sit here and say it's definitely, definitely, definitely happening. But this is a continuation of the gingerbread door collection phase. Every year, every time he made a gingerbread door skin, they've been accepted. That trend is continuing. This is the first marketable wooden double door skin to be accepted in about, what, like a year and a half or whatever? We have had Twitch drops this year, but that is a brand new gingerbread sh uh, wooden door skin. <coughs> wooden double door skin. Uh, wooden double score skin. I can't speak. <laughs> I can't because this plastic stuff keeps going to my mouth. <sighs> All right. All right. Gingerbread door. So, the person who made the likes of the double sheet metal doors, the sheet metal door, and the garage door, that was all made by FaZe. That is a collection that quite literally is growing now. So, with an extra deplorable skin, it, with a deplorable collection, the previous existing deplorable skins are expected to have a bit of a spike in demand, spike in price. If you want to consider going after them, the option's right available there in front of you, if it would appear, but for some strange reason, Steam isn't working properly. Why are you being like this right now? Right when I'm currently doing this. There you go. All three of these doors were also made by FaZe, so the option there is available to you. Right, so we also have the likes of the Christmas Neon Small Box. Oh, we've got a Thompson. Uh, yeah, continuation of the Neon Snowflake. Right, okay, yes, okay, not surprised by that. That's cool, that's nice. Right, so if you aren't fully well aware, we have the Neon Snowflake garage door. You can see it in the background right there, so I quickly have go to here as well. Neon Snowflake has a new skin. That potentially will be a collection we should be aware of in the future. So get a good look at this. Neon Snowflake garage door, only 59 in the market at the moment. It's just under $4. I've already spoken a lot about this over time, but yeah, that very likely will be going up in price. Maybe just a little bit more. Maybe, maybe. A combinate, you know, a very nice combo with that new large box. Surprised to see we have yet another gingerbread skin. As I said, I fully expected a whole bunch of them to be, to be accepted with the likes of the uh, gingerbread building skin being implemented. Now, yesterday I made a joke saying, surely we're going to get at least three doors being accepted the next day. I would like to sit here and say, a double door counts as two. Ha <laughs> ha, no, but this is a sheet metal door right here. Get a good look at that. That, ha, huh, does that glow in the dark? It does not. Oh, it does. Faintly. Faintly. Yes, it does. Okay. That's pretty cool. Dio, you haven't been, oh, wow. Haven't seen you for a while. That's nice to see. So we've got Newt Cracker. We've got the Newt Cracker. Oh, no. Okay. Right. And then we've got Snowy AK-47. Does that glow in the dark? No, it doesn't. No, no, because it would say it, wouldn't it? All right. Cool. 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 Uh, oh, and the go oh, we do have three doors. This size Vortex. Shedmon, congratulations. Yay. That was the first. That was the first Christmas skin to be submitted for 2023. Mr. Shedmon, congratulations. Your very scary looking garage door has been accepted. Chat. That's looking to be a pretty interesting skin. But you know what I normally say in regards to brand new Christmas skins, but that's definitely something to keep an eye out for next year. Oh, yes, indeed. Right. Congratulations, Shedmon. Congratulations, indeed. Right. I need to go do my builders now. So what we'll do is we'll skip ahead and we'll talk about all those brand new Christmas skins for Christmas week two of 2023. Hello, gentlemen, we are back. So it's been just over an hour. It's a little bit late for me, but hey, it's Christmas time, so whatever. <laughs> we are going to go ahead and we're going to figure out which of these skins are abnormal. And then after that, we'll look at the uh, regular skin bio to support from the last week's skins. And then we'll talk about the new skins. So let's hop in. Let's take a look at all of these brand new skins and figure out which of these are abnormal. So we have 10 new skins. Here they are. First up, we have the gingerbread double wooden door. That is abnormal, as you can see there. The link is there. With the likes of this gingerbread Thompson, this is not abnormal. The ice vortex garage door is abnormal. Yep, we couldn't find them earlier. I didn't notice them initially. We did get three doors. I knew it. If you watched my abnormal bar to stream last night, you'd know exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> so yeah, we've got the sheet metal door here, large present sheet metal door. We also have the likes of neon Christmas small box, though this is abnormal. We have the likes of the large box. This is abnormal. The nutcracker bow is not abnormal. Normal. The Santa, yes, the serious Santa chest plate is not abnormal, but the face mask, the face mask is abnormal, as you can see right there. And lastly, the AK, this is not abnormal. So just to quickly verify once more, all the skins that are, that are abnormal, gingerbread double window door is abnormal, ice vortex garage door, that is abnormal. We also have the likes of the new neon Christmas small box, that's abnormal. We have the likes of the snowflake large box, that's abnormal. And then we have the serious center, this face mask is abnormal. The chest plate is not. So I'm sure you have fully got that in your heads now. Be prepared for next week. But just remember, 
in you know by ordering into new christmas skins it's a bit complicated because well you can't really buy into these expecting to make a profit just be aware of that because Christmas is effectively over in just a few days' time. Yes, the festive season is still going on, New Year's, blah, 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 blah. But it will drop off pretty quickly. As, you know, week two skins, I've seen it many times in the past, they just go <laughs> down hard. Because, well, when this becomes marketable, as in when you can put them on the Steam market, well, that's going to be, what, uh, December 28th? Christmas would have passed already. So don't assume, looking at all of these skins, oh yeah, is there going to be a great profit to make? Not really. No, 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 no. You're going to have to do buy orders. Now, to do smart buy orders, I would advise you go over to likes of my YouTube, right? We did the abnormal buy orders last night. Uh, we did it on stream and everything. If you could go to this video and skip ahead to about three minutes in, so just under four minutes, we have the Winter Spirit Garage Door Approaching Christmas Skins. That is a very good example to understand how you personally should figure out what you would want to do in terms of what you would want to offer for your prices for Christmas skins. New Christmas skins. You have to make comparisons to the past. Previous, cre previous Christmas skins from the past, how are they did and, you know, how did they initially behave? Once you've got a good idea of their potential low points or what, what those previous year skins uh, low points were, then make a comparison to the new skins. Try and figure out what might be a good point to uh, do a barter on because, as I said, these are all going to go down and they are, all, they are all expected to reach a low point at some point during spring. But from then on, they only trend upwards. And to get the full explanation, you need to consider watching this portion. I actually might just make an independent, isolated video, talk about it, just so it's freely available and quickly accessible to everybody. So that's something I had to do. But yeah, please consider watching the abnormal video. So... Now that we quickly hop over to here, this was last week's skins. Now some people have been asking me, Hedge, the price listings of some of these skins is ridiculously high. What's going on? It's only just become marketable, all right? Don't assume it's actually worth that price. For example, if I quickly went to the likes of the Gingerbread Man AK-47, um, actually, do you know what? We don't need to worry about that because I have the links already prepared. So what we're going to do is we're going to go take a look at all of these skins that have uh, that became marketable when the rust all rotated. So let's go do that right now. Oh, didn't get rid of these. Whoops. <laughs> Here we are. Santa's coat. So Santa's coat right now has listings uh, at two dollars. The highest buy order is one dollar or five. But we discussed this last night. Yes, initially it might do quite all right. It pairs up very nicely with the likes of the Christmas gang hoodie and pants and whatnot. However, once Christmas is over, who's going to care for it? Not a lot of people. This is going to go down in price pretty hard. My expectation from what I said last night is this is going to go down to around 50 cents at some point. Yes. So with what we have here, the vast majority of builders are close to around 50 cents. Now, this was a $1 skin, sold insanely well, 30,000 bare minimum sales, as you can see right here. Mr. Kosem, you lucky bugger, you're going to be walking away with a lot of money. A great start to 2024 for him. So yeah, 30,000 bare minimum sales. But I did make a comparison. Whilst that has 30,000 sales, Christmas gang, hoodie and pants have only got like 15,000 bare minimum sales. So please keep this in mind. Please keep this in mind. When in the future we'll see the likes of the Christmas skins rise up in value again in the lead up to Christmas 2024, these will probably still do all right. But that that right there, because there's a lot more of them, it actually might not rise up in price as good. Keep that in mind. There's a lot more of these in circulation. Double there's double the amount of these in comparison to how many Christmas gang hoodies and pants there are. And I also should remind you, they are actually not a collection. Christmas gang hoodie and pants were maybe a different skin creator. Santa's coat was made by Cosem, so don't assume they're a collection, but they blend in and pair up very, very nicely. All, you know, all Santa clothing and whatnot. Looks cool, looks nice, and with that appearing, Christmas Gang went up in price now, but from here and now, this is going to have a bit of a struggle. So yes, initially, it's going to do all right, but then it will drop off. New Year's, it's going to drop hard, so be prepared for that. Then we have the likes of the Gingerbread Bearskin Rug. Now, this one's a little bit different. See, looking at that, Nothing blatantly sits there and says, this is Christmas themed. Yes, it's a gingerbread, you know, that's cool. But, you know, by default, people can have gingerbread whenever they want. So, you know, is there like a like a Christmas present or like uh, like a Santa hat on that or anything? No, no, no. It's just a gingerbread bearskin rug. So I actually think this is going to do quite all right. But more specifically, more specifically, I think that's going to have a better chance of retaining its value. Will it still go below its rustle price? I fully expect it. But will it still manage to do quite all right as time goes on? Yes. Now, a lot of braver people have offered over a dollar, but the vast majority of people seem to be stick around like a, a fair bit below a dollar. 
We did talk about this last night. We questioned it a lot, but that seems to be the approach. Will this do all right in, you know, in good time? I'm pretty sure it will. I do not expect any more bearskin rugs to be made over the course of a long time. I didn't see many being submitted this year. So that right there is the cheapest, the most affordable. And well, because of that, I think it's going to be doing quite all right. So how many sales do they have bare minimum? That right there had almost 26,000 bare minimum sales. So that's going to be doing quite all right. He's got a very decent amount of buy orders, 2,000. That's great for a Christmas skin. But like I said, is it truly Christmas fiend? Well, we'll find out. We'll see what the people think. But again, I still expect to go below its thruster price. Right, Christmas hide skirt and the halter neck. So in regards to these two skins, I can't help but think these are going to probably set off a lot of skin creators wanting to make hide skirts and halter neck skins. Potentially, maybe. Primitive skins, for sure. But we are still expecting this to drop down fairly uh, hard. Now, if we do see other hide skirt and halter neck skins being made at some point in the near future, which I do believe might potentially be happening, maybe, we shall see, I can't help but feel like these will drop off. Like, in the meantime, for now, these are the most affordable and approachable hide skirt and, sh and uh, horse net skins because we have only three skins for each of them. It's awkward, it's sad, but um, I don't think they're going to be retaining our value. Yes, you might look at it with um, a bit of optimism, but again, Christmas is about to end. So that might do all right in the lead up to next Christmas for sure. I wouldn't be surprised by that, but don't assume it's going to do all right during the year next year, all right? So be prepared for that. This very likely will be dropping down to 50 to 60 cents. Then we have the Gingerbread Man AK. Well, it sold a fairly decent amount as we look over to here. It did what, like 50, 16,000 sales almost? But, you know, there's always another AK-47. There's always another AK-47. And, uh, well, this is not going to be in season anymore because Christmas is uh, well, it's about to finish, isn't it? So, yeah, this is going to be dropping hard. No buy order above 80 cents. And that probably paints a pretty big picture there, doesn't it? Then with the likes of the Snowy Sar, basically the exact same thing. I don't think people are actively chasing after something like this. Now, this did not do that many sales. This only did uh, 11,000. I mean, you know, during the autumn fall seasonal dip, 11,000 is still quite a lot. But even then, it's Christmas themed. It's snowy. I don't think it's going to do all right. And with the Bilders that we see there, no Bilder going above 90 cents. So, yeah, seems like everybody's wanted to play it safe. Then we had the Rat Furnace. I judged it. I looked at it. I questioned it. I just don't think it's going to be retaining its value. It's nice probably in game but from what i see here it doesn't look super flashy and uh well awkward i think it might do a fair bit better of course and lead up to christmas next year but i can also see it potentially being forgotten about wouldn't be surprised and that's happened before with other christmas theme furnaces they're not doing well at the moment even though christmas is in three days and then with the christmas surprise why would you want to skin a satchel charge it's going to explode and basically what a waste so overall christmas themed christmas is out of season satchel charges aren't exactly a great thing to put skins onto i went pretty low i re i decided to save my money I didn't put down too much so yeah, yeah 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 all right then so that's been sorted out we've just mentioned all of the uh, skins from the previous week get one extra quick look at all of that not a single skin sold less than ten thousand. so that's nice to see one more thing to point out we had the Legacy Kevlar Tier 3, and it's gone. It's not here. It, 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 it's not back anymore. It only persisted for one extra week. What a very, very, very weird thing ha that happened there. Like, why did they only... Uh, first of all, why did it persist? And why did it only persist for one week? I don't know. It was weird. That was very strange. So as you can see here, we do not see it. We do not see it. And if I quickly go back, we can also quickly point out, over the past extra week that these two skins were in the Rust stores, these only did an extra 10,000 sales each, it looks like. All right? So keep that in mind. Whilst it was around for another two days, uh, another seven days, it only did like an extra 10,000 sales. In the grand scheme of things, in the grand scheme of things, will things still work out quite all right? <clears throat> I think it still will be all right. Again, don't forget, when we look at the likes of the player counts today, we had 128,000. That's pretty good. I expect even more in about five to six days time, post-Christmas time. Oh, yes, 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 yes. My expectations, will they meet reality? I hope so. I hope so. <laughs> so, yeah, we'll see what happens, but um, we've got to wait for the actual big, 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 big numbers. So, yeah, with the returning players, they'll see the likes of these. Will they want them? Maybe. Budget blackout? Faceless face mask? We'll see, mate. We'll see. We'll see what happens. But now that they're out of the rust store, hopefully things do improve. Hopefully, fingers crossed. But there is one interesting detail that I'll have to bring up to you. If I were to go over to here hover over collections i recently did 
a brand new Russ Workshop skin checks. Get a good look at this collection right here. So if you aren't fully aware, every single week I make a new collection of all the new skins that have appeared. I also produce a video, which you can see right over here. Now I will point out all the interesting continuations. We'll discuss whether we might want to make an investment into those collections with the pre-existing skins. For example, right there, there's the neon small box. If we see that small box being accepted, the furnace, the garage door, the shimmer door, oh, they'll be rising up in price for for sure there you go they're all in the positive already imagine how they're going to look if we see the likes of either the large box or that brand new small box potentially being accepted optimism is strong with the likes of that so please consider watching that video also i, I should point out don't forget don't forget whilst there's a lot of skins if you go down over to here to the description i have chapters all neatly presented here if you just want to skip ahead toward the collections all right sounds good perfect right so as i have said we could potentially see some very interesting skins being accepted next week. No more Christmas skins. We're back to normal. No Christmas theme skins. But what do I see right here? We have the likes of the Legacy Kevlar kilt right there. It was submitted this past weekend. Guys, are you optimistic? Are you feeling brave? Do you think everything's going everything's gonna to work out with the likes of the Legacy t uh, Kevlar tier 3? If we get that kilt, yes, you'll still see a spike in spike in price. That is for sure. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. I'm not sure if we're going to see even more, but um, a kilt would definitely be <laughs> very, very well sought after. And again, I must point out, if the Blackout Kilt's selling for maybe around $20, that's going to be selling for $2.49 surely, isn't it? So, what do you reckon? Something to be cheerful about. Legacy Tier 3 very likely could still work out ever so nicely and rise up in price and become a very nice investment. We've got that all nice and understood now. So, let's now actually proceed and talk about the brand new Christmas skins. The Christmas Week 2 for 2023. Here are the last Christmas skins this year. Get a good look at all of them. It's been an hour since the Rust Door, so we got a good idea of what's the most in-demand skins at the moment. We're now going to go ahead, take a look at all of them, get a good look and question if you want to put your money towards them. By default, I'm going to say no. <laughs> right, so first up, we have the Ice Vortex Garage Door. This was the very first Christmas skin of 2023 to be submitted, made by Shedmon. Get a good look at this. Very nice, very cool. And yes, it does glow in the dark, as you can see right there. He's very angry. So that's nice to see. Very nice, very cool. So how will this likely behave? Well, I mean, literally last night in that Abnormal Barda video, I have a great showcase. So back over to here again. I'm sorry about this. I'm sorry. I keep referencing other stuff. But quite literally, if you watch this 10 minute portion, so 3 minutes 42, Winter Spirit Garage Door Approaching Christmas Skins. My example, quite literally, if I could just go like two times speed is making comparisons to previous Christmas uh, garage doors from previous Christmas rust doors. So, yeah, that rhymed. <laughs> yeah, I talk about that brand new one that we literally got a week ago, and uh, I bring up how, well, last year we had garage doors that we could showcase. So there you go, Neon Snowflake. That's a great example to just get, get, get into your head how things usually play out, more specifically with garage doors. So consider giving that a watch. But in short, in brief... Even though this is going to probably sell very nicely, it's still going to go blow its roster price. It's still going to drop down hard around springtime. It's going to be out of season. Cool looking garage door, but let me tell you this. If you approach it with the expectation that price is going to get very cheap around springtime, you know, figure out a decent price, um, get it just right, buy them for the cheapest possible price during 2024, you'll be able to, you'll be able to sell them for a very nice optimal profit. Very 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 good profit yes 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 100 percent. so it's more of a case of it's going to be a bar door and that's it we saw many 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 garage doors come and go over the past few christmases over the past few years selling for three dollars two dollars four to nine you name it they always go down around to a dollar all right so it's going to be a buy order okay understood cool neon christmas small box here's a funny little trend mr epic He's only had three skins accepted this year, and they've all been small boxes. Seasonal small boxes. We've got Easter. We've got Halloween. We've got Christmas. Wow. Uh, maybe we'll see a Valentine's one at some point. We shall see. So that'll be a nice little group of skins right there. That'll be pretty cool, wouldn't it? So that's doing pretty cool. Sales are doing all right, but again, same thing. It's Christmas themed. Now there have been other Christmas themed uh, Christmas skins. Uh, Christmas themed small boxes. Christmas themed Christmas skins. <laughs> Whatever. Hedge. Yeah. Um, but unfortunately, uh, the one that came out last year hasn't been doing super great. And what about the previous years? No, we haven't had that many. Oh wow, that's the only other Christmas. Christmas theme skin that we've had right well uh by itself 
It's glow in the dark. It looks pretty cool. Straightforward design. Very nice and uh, neon. I am actually going to sit here and say that I do expect this to go down in price pretty bad. It's not probably going to be going destructively down in price, but it will go below its rustle price. But in the lead up to next Christmas, a skin that quite literally has Christmas in the name is going to be very easy to identify and find. That right there actually will rise up in price very nicely in the lead up to Christmas. I wouldn't doubt it. But remember, only acquire so many skins that you know you can actually sell. Don't like grab a whole bunch and think, oh yeah, this could be fine. No, if you don't think you can do it, don't bother. Only buy a reasonable amount that you know, you know you can actually sell. All right. So, but same thing around March, April time, it will be an even lower price. And well, yeah, see what happens there. All right, then. Neon Snowflake Large Box. Right, so uh, I brought this up in a video not too long ago when I did that Rust Workshop Christmas skin checks. This is a continuation of the uh, garage door that we saw last year. That garage door did go up in price a little bit, a little bit. It went up to $4. Uh, a few people did buy these out. I don't think it's going to be going that much higher from here. So nice to see. <coughs> oh, God. I'm running out of breath. One quick second. My throat collapsed there. <laughs> Sorry about that. Nice to see, I can say it properly now, nice to see Neon Snowflake Garage Door is doing A-OK, -okay, but we're not here to talk about that, we're here to talk about the likes of the large box. But one thing I will point out to you, from here and now, wouldn't be surprised if we see another Neon Snowflake skin next year. Double door. Furnace, who knows, but only Oasis knows. So we shall see what happens next, but in regards to what we have here, is this going to go down in price? Of course it is. Right, it is, it is. $2.49, that's fine. But yeah, take a look at all the large boxes that we had this year. Some of them weren't doing very well. Let's go find out. Are they still not doing very well? Yep. We've had a lot of Twitch drops as well this year, so I could also point that out. But yeah, only a few are doing very nicely. Some of the other ones, not so much, not so much. Uh, but have we had any Christmas large boxes before? We have had the likes of none last year. What about the year before? Uh, well, no, n really? Okay, no Christmas large boxes that year. <laughs> Where are they? Okay, I remember Fairy Tale Box. Fairy Tale Box is a Christmas theme skin, but it's not called, it's not got Christmas in the name. That's a bit weird. Um, wow. Oh, and Toy Box, Toy Box as well. Now, those have gone up in price graciously, but they came out years ago, so there wasn't that many of them bought. With the likes of what we have here, it is going to go below its rustle price. That's happening for sure. Will it rise up in price for next year? Uh, well, I mean, if the garage door did and did nicely as it did it, I wouldn't be surprised. And as I said, will we see even more Neon Snowflakes things? Yeah, yeah, I think we will. I think we will. So for Christmas time, when it's around November, December time, that very likely will be going up ever so nicely. But don't assume it's going to be doing greatly during the year. I'd be surprised if it did. I would be surprised if it did. So... You understand the routine, plus that's also abnormal, so you can like do the abnormal wilders, but that don't really matter. Abnormals don't matter this year. <laughs> no, 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 not, not for uh, Christmas skins at the very least. It doesn't really matter that much. Right, so with what we have here, that's nice, that's cool, but it's going to be a lower price for sure. Buy order, for sure. Serious Santa face mask. So someone asked me, Hedge, surely with the likes of this being accepted, would the likes of Christmas Gang go up in price? Well, I mean, we could give it a quick look. Christmas Gang, hoodie and pants. Christmas Gang, hoodie and pants. Steam, work for me, please. Show yourself, please. Pretty please, pretty please. Show me your work for me, please. Right, so it didn't change. It didn't change. The uh, Santa coat last week caused a massive surge in demand for these. But it's definitely cooled down a fair bit. It's not terrible. It's just, you know, it had its moment, but now it's gone. So, yeah. It had its moment. It's now gone. I hope you made some wonderful, delicious, sweet-looking profits. I sold, like, 50. I made some good money. Good money. But, um, yeah, it's not going to be bumping up any more than it did. I should also point out there is already a Santa Tier 3 set that exists. 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 I can speak. So, yeah, uh, it's nice to see a completely unique, crazy-looking Santa type of design. But again, yeah, like many other collection, like many other holiday-themed Tier 3 pieces we've seen in the past, they are not going to retain their value. They're going to go down. It's unfortunate, it, but it is what it is. However, they, of course, will still rise up in price for the next Christmas. I fully believe that. And I wouldn't be surprised if we potentially see Serious Santa Tier 2 or Hoodie and Pants next year as well. If we do, by default, new core piece. Of course, the pre-existing core pieces to spike in demand and spike in price. So you could at least, you know, feel comfortable knowing that. So it will go below its rustle price and, of course, the chest plate as well. So, yeah. I mean, of course, all of them are going to go down in price. However, there's an interesting detail that we have right here with this gingerbread double wooden door. First of all, how many wooden double door skins do we even have? Overall, we have not a lot. 
Two of them were given away for free as Twitch drops this year, so that's nice, that's cool. But there's another interesting detail. FaZe is the man behind all of the gingerbread door skins. Get a good look at that. Right, so with what we have here, okay, with what we have here, we have to uh, kind of question what will happen now. So when I first saw that being accepted, I thought, okay, would the gingerbread uh, door skins go up a fair bit? So let's go take a look, because technically speaking, it's a new deplorable skin in a deplorable, deplorable collection. So have the uh, doors gone up a little bit, or are they already going down? So why are they going down? What's happened, Hedge? What's going on? So when we had the actual introduction of the Christmas content last week, we didn't get the gingerbread building skin immediately. That didn't happen. It was a problem. So it got delayed by a day. But nobody knew, not everybody knew what was going on. So they assumed the worst. They unloaded all of their stock onto the Steam market. Lo and behold, their gingerbread door skins went down in price. That wasn't fun. That wasn't cool. That was unfortunate. But yeah, that happened. It happened, unfortunately. But uh, with the likes of a brand new door for this collection appearing, could things improve? So I'm going to take a real quick look. I'm going to see if it's made any difference. Maybe it might not make a difference until this weekend. <laughs> but um, I'm not going to hope on that. So, yeah, this looks like it's basically the same $2. Did it, oh, no, someone did buy a few. Yeah, they went up a little bit. It went up by about mm, 5%. <laughs> yeah, they're still trending downwards. Yeah, yeah. People undercutting each other. Sad sight to see. Look at that. The update came out, but it didn't immediately appear. The actual building skin. <laughs> Domino effect. When one person starts unloading their stock, everybody wants to start doing it as well. Gingerbread Double Door seems to be doing quite alright at the moment. Not exactly super crazy, but yeah, it's fine. I mean, it's still doing a very high price. I'm not going to complain. I'm not going to complain. I'm going to be happy. Happy, chat. Look at me. I'm happy. <laughs> so, yeah, eh, awkward. Awkward, awkward, awkward. But at the very least, I do expect that to do quite nicely in the lead up to next Christmas. All of these did. All of these did. But there was too much hype about the actual gingerbread building skin and it turned out to be wood and i don't think people care about wood that much role players they probably don't mind but uh overall all the other people yeah. <laughs> right so with that will it go below trustal price i wouldn't be surprised if it does but i don't imagine it's gonna go down that bad we don't have many wooden double door skins and they are very approachable in the early game all right people very likely would want to consider that look listen if you want to make sure that you want to have a base in which you're going to have like garage doors and whatnot, you're probably going to be using wooden double doors initially. And I wouldn't be surprised by that. And you're going to probably want a nice glow in the dark wooden double door that's going to be very beneficial and helpful for you. If you didn't get the charitable rust one that appeared earlier this year, the uh, trip Twitch drop, maybe you want to pick that up. Yes, it's gingerbread. Yes, it's got the Christmas aesthetic. But in terms of thematic and usefulness, yes, glow in the dark, double wooden door skin still going to be very useful to have. So, uh, yeah, we're going to have to leave that to Wednesday night by order. But I get the feeling that actually might retain its value pretty okay. Pretty okay. So we're going to leave that. As I said, with hardly any wooden double door skins, what are the options? So early game, useful, useful, useful. All right, then. So, uh, yeah, Legacy Bow has persisted, as expected. That was uh, pointed out. Snowflake AR. Snowflake AR. Another AK. Immediately. <laughs> another one? Are we going to get another one just to spite us? I swear, I swear, I swear they're going to accept another AK next week. Just to spite us. So, yeah, we got another one. So, literally last week, we had the Twitch drops. Then we had the Twitchmas. Then we had the Gingerbread Man AK-47 being accepted, and then, then now we got this. So over the course of two weeks, we've just seen six AKs being given to us. Yeah. Right, so is this very Christmassy, Christmassy gimmicked? And uh, I'm going to be honest with you, uh, not really. It's got snowflakes all over it and whatnot. Looks pretty cool, to be honest. I'll give it that. Still alright, did a cool looking skin. But, uh, yeah, I can't help but imagine it's going to suffer still. Why'd you say that? Because we always will see another AK-47. Ooh, nice and shiny, cool looking AK right in front of me. Bye! But you know what happens next week? Ooh, nice and cool, shiny looking, brand new AK right in front of me. Bye! Throw away the old one. <laughs> that happens every single week. People aren't loyal to their AKs. <laughs> it's unfortunate, but yeah. Now... Is this Christmassy themed? It's wintry themed for sure. But will everybody remember this? Will everybody instantly assume like, oh yeah, it's Christmassy or whatnot? Will people be actively wanting to use this? So first of all, aim down the site. What do we see? It is a dark blue aim site. That should work for most environments. That should be pretty okay. I think it might do all right. But again, it's an AK and I can't help but think like it's going to end up about being like a 70 cent to 90 cent by order. Awkward. 
yeah, I'm sorry to say it, but that very likely will be the outcome. I'd rather play it safe. Remember, March, March, April time is the time where it's going to drop down really bad. So be prepared for that. Be prepared for that. Large present sheep and a door. Okay, look, this is a very cool looking skin. I must point that out. Glows in the dark a faint bit. That's very nice, very cool. But I am concerned. Still. Sheep and a door skins this year have, uh, well, there have been a lot of them being accepted. How many have we had in total so far this year? I mean, well, it's almost the end. 29! 29 sheep and doors have been given to us this year. I don't think we had any Twitch drops. We had one Twitch drop there, and that was it. So we have basically beaten what we got last year, for sure. And you shouldn't be too surprised, much like with AK-47s. If there's too many options, then most of the skins aren't going to go up in price that much. That there, being a christmas theme skin, a new holiday theme skin, that's not going to work out very well for it, is it? That's going to struggle. That's going to suffer. Will it improve by next year? I can't really sit here and feel like I'm, it's definitely going to happen. Uh, I am concerned for it, is my answer. I am concerned for it. So the only way you're going to really make a profit out of it is a lowball buy order. March, April time, it will suffer... Maybe get some appreciation. We shall see. But, yeah, yeah. Gingerbread Thompson. Right. I'm actually somewhat optimistic for it. At the moment, lowest selling skin. I don't know if that's going to hold forever, but I will point this out. We've had some holiday themed Thompson skins in the past. The instant thing that I want to bring up to you is the likes of the chocolate Thompson we had accepted quite some time back. This was a festive, an Easter festive holiday a Thompson skin. All right. So I click this. All right. I want to show its history because Thompsons are actually very well in demand. In terms of their gun demand, loads of people like to use a Thompson. All right. Therefore, very good justification to use Thompson skins. So therefore, the skins prices tend to do quite nicely. Well, when I look at this, it trends a lot. When it first came out, it actually rose up in price and did okay in terms of retaining its value. Post um, Autumn fall seasonal dip hit, it went down very low. Then post Christmas hit and it went all the way up. And then went down again, went back up again, went up very nicely last year. Back down again, down, 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 down. But ever since the uh, October time, it's only been trending upwards. All Thompson skins are expected to really go up high in price, for sure. So as I look at this one more time, aka looking at all of the skins that came out this year, do you happen to notice we're seeing a lot more of these skins in the positive now? Hmm, wonder what's going on. There's hardly any stock on the Steam market. And people, as I said, do like to use Thompsons. They do want to have skins. And there's, if there's only so many of them going around, well, they're going to go up in price a lot easier, aren't they? So, for example, high-quality metal Thompson. For a long time, this wasn't really selling very well, and I can prove that to you right now. So, at the moment, this is selling for about three dollars plus. Yes, and uh, well, look at that: two, one, two, one, two, two, one, two, one, two, one, 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 four, one, 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 four. There's nothing there. There's nothing there. And then, if you look at the uh, sales history. It held its value, it went down a bit, and it's only been going upwards. Look at that, it's only been going up. So, guys, please be aware of this. Thompsons tend to be very reliable investments. Yes, we had a bit of a hiccup for some of the skins this year. Fair enough, I understand. I am going to be a little bit more cautious next year, because with the likes of Thompson skins, we were seeing a lot more of them being given to us this year. We had free Twitch drops and many more skins in Rust Doors. That is true, but the gun demand is still very strong. There's only so many of them in circulation. Thompson's are still very reliable. That gingerbread Thompson, so we get a much better look at this, it very likely will still go below its Rust Door price. Oh, yes, indeed. Don't be surprised by that. But I can't help but feel like it's not going to go down that bad. And I can't help but feel like it's going to rise up in price ever so nicely when we hit Christmas time next year. Maybe not an insane increase in price, but for sure I can imagine that's going to get some love. I am going to imagine that's going to get some love quite nicely. So yeah, that right there, I think that's going to be a pretty solid buy order. More than a dollar buy order at the very least. I will sit here and say that. Hello, Dennis. How you doing, sir? The uh, Rustle rotated about an hour and a... Oh, two hours ago now. Blimey, I've been talking for a long time. Didn't realise that. Oh, dear. So that actually might work out all right. If it doesn't have that many sales either, all the better for it to rise up in price next year. But then again, still March, April time. Still going to happen. All right? Maybe not so bad compared to the other skins. Hunting bows. Right, first of all, let's just talk about hunting bows. Get a good look at this. Look at how the uh, skins that came out this year are doing. All the negative. Wonderful. Yay! And what about last year? Same thing. Yay! Okay, this is not very good. So, 
we actually had a Halloween hunting bow too. Two, 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 <laughs> we had two Halloween bows accepted this year and they immediately went down in price. Brand new holiday skins. Awkwardly don't seem to retain their value. It's awkward, it's unfortunate, but it is what it is. Now, hunting bows in general, it seems like people only care about a certain amount of them and they don't care about the rest. So when you look at the vast majority of them, the vast majority of them are in the negative. It is a very sad sight to see, but don't be surprised by that. So with the likes of that Christmas-themed hunting bow skin, that has no chance. It has no chance, I'm afraid. I'm very sorry to say it, but what else is there to say? So that's going to be a 70 cent to 90 cent buy order, for sure. It is awkward. Yeah. Okay. So, with that, it's all, that's a wrap. You know, there's not much else to say. There's not much else to say, because we can't look at these and instantly assume they're definitely going to be very nice, wonderful profits. Yeah. Yeah. Now, what we should be talking about is uh, looking forward to the next year. So, I've already made mention of it. We are expecting... A lot more people to start appearing as of December 26. That is just around the corner. Of course, I should also point out, I'm pretty sure everyone's, or mostly everyone, is not going to be working as of tomorrow. I'm also assuming all the kids are now out of school and out of college. This weekend, 23rd and 24th, are we going to see the beginning of post Christmas happen already? Like, are people instantly going to start jumping in? Like, is it, are we going to actually get the very beginning of a lot of people turning up to play the game? over the course of this weekend. Fingers crossed. I hope so. So that's something to look forward to. And if it's looking very strong in the lead up to January, of course, January is going to be even better. Fingers crossed. I do hope it's going to work out quite all right. So heard the best way to describe gear and rust. It's never truly yours. It's just your turn to use it. That's pretty dark. <laughs> well, that's going to be happening a lot over the course of this winter sale. Yes, we have a winter sale currently going on. That is also including the likes of Rust being on sale. So maybe we'll get a lot of newer people hopping in and thinking Rust is a very nice, wonderful place to live in. <laughs> no. <laughs> so, yep, that's cool. That's cool. But um, yeah, we're going to be seeing a lot of people returning. Maybe some newer people. It'll be cool. It'll be nice to see. And uh, we'll see how that all turns out. At the very least, I'm pretty sure all of our Ruskins are going to rise up in demand and rise up in price. That is the expectation. I hope it does. So, yeah, that's basically it. That's Christmas all nice and wrapped up. We have basically talked about the past two weeks as best as we could. But in terms of trying to make a profit, you can't really do it now. It's all about the prices of what they're going to be around springtime. And at the very least, you should be well aware that with the likes of the uh, post-Christmas rolling out very soon, whilst skin prices are going to be selling very nicely during the likes of January, we are expecting the likes of the uh, skins to drop down pretty hard around March time. CS2 Copenhagen 2024 Major is taking place in March. So when this hits, it's going to very likely cause a dramatic drop in value for a lot of Rust skins. Do be aware of this. A lot of people who are invested into Rust i very likely also invest into likes of Counter-Strike. I've said this many times before, but I've got to say it again, just in case new people watch this video. When that comes out, there's going to be a whole bunch of new stickers. There's going to be a whole bunch of new autograph stickers, souvenir packages, viewer passes. Yes. So a lot of money gets thrown that way. And to get more money, what people want to do? Sell their Rust skins. Yes. That causes a lot of skins to go down in price. It's really bad, and it's not fun, but the prices do have to go at some go down at some point. Just know when we get to summertime, when kids are out of school, having summer vacation and whatnot, they all come back, and of course prices go back up again. But then autumn fall seasonal dip, all the kids go back to school and whatnot, awkward times. We just went through it. We just went through it, didn't we, over the past three months. Prices were down bad. It weren't fun. But things have been improving now in the lead up to, of course, Christmas, and of course, the next post-Christmas. Uh, oh. Oh. <laughs> it's over we've already Christmas is over oh no <laughs> well that was pretty dramatic that wasn't it <laughs> well that was pretty dramatic okay so uh, yeah Christmas isn't going to last forever is it enjoy the time enjoy uh, plenty of people playing the game and whatnot. I hope you all enjoy yourselves uh, but yeah um I don't know if there's anything else I need to bring. Oh, yeah, I can. Commits. Right. Commits. So it's a brand new year, and I should, you should, you should be looking at the commits a whole lot more. I will put the link to this in the description of the video, so keep an eye out for that. But you want to be aware of all the new content coming out, I'm sure. 
I have seen rumblings of the likes of a brand new version of the power plant monument. I have seen rumblings of the same guy that worked on that trying to see if he could update some of the other uh, monuments. Harbour, for example. Harbour's apparently getting a bit of an update. Now, that was first mentioned. So the Harbour update was mentioned uh, about a good few days ago. Talks about changing up the power plant monument took place about a month, two months ago. But next, next to nobody has talked about it. But I know about it because I saw it all here. If you just like hop in every day, just get a good look at what they're pointing out. New Twitch drops? New Twitch drops? What does that mean? There very likely will be a new batch of Twitch drops coming out in January time. What might that be? <sighs> Trust and rust. <clears throat> so moving on, moving on. Uh, new ragdoll improvements. Ah, I don't need to see that. But I can point out that we do have the likes of uh, cosmetic flowers. Yes, we are getting roses. We're getting orchards. We are getting sunflowers. We're getting a whole bunch of flowers for us. Isn't that lovely? Isn't that wonderful? <laughs> but yeah, I'm aware of it because I'm looking in and reading what they're currently working on. They are. It's all publicly available for you to read into. And well, as an investor, you should be looking at this because you want to be aware of all the new potential upcoming content so you can make a move, you can make an investment, and if everything works out very nicely and the new content comes out and everybody suddenly suddenly wants to happen, it suddenly wants to have a lot of, um, uh, oh, wow, table and wooden door. H hang on a minute. You can actually see. So we're getting a new table skin. We're getting a new table skin and wooden door skin. Well, there you go. It's all mentioned there. See? It's right there. Three days ago. It's right there. <laughs> So basically, yeah, if you're fully well aware of what's about to come out, you yourself could make a move. If there's anything relatable that already exists in terms of skins, you could jump in and invest. And when the actual content comes out, if everybody happens to want the skins that you have, because it's related to the likes of the upcoming content that just came out, you make a very nice profit selling it. And one great example of that was the gingerbread building skin. We were fully well aware of that back in August. And then the proper reveal came out in September. And then, of course, the proper actual introduction was last week. So, yeah, yeah. The more you are aware of what's going on, the more you could uh, potentially make a great profit if you jump in earlier. And the only way to be uh, prepared for that is if you take a look at the likes of what they're currently working on on the uh, commits page. It's not too hard. Pool table skin for the table. No, uh, I actually know what it is. It's not a pool table. I actually know what it is. So. I can't. I won't say more than that. Right then. Um, so yeah, that's basically it. Uh, chat. Do you have any questions you might want to ask? You, uh, Twitch. Twitch. You alive? Twitch. Are you alive? Twitch. <laughs> Lizard. You doing good? Jack Pirate. Can you doing good? So um, yeah. Basically, Rust Two. We're not getting Rust Two. Shut up. We're not getting Rust Two. Don't think we're getting Rust Two. All right. Kua. Is that what you're gonna do? You're just gonna post a cat? Is that all you have? Is that all you have? <laughs> yeah, they're all dead. I talked for too long. They're all dead. Sorry, chat. I know I went on for a bit, but that's normal with the likes of a Rustle rotation video. We had to look at all the new pixels. We had to be happy about it. <laughs> right. So, uh, in terms of my streams, I'm probably going to start taking uh, some time off. I'm not sure if I'm going to start doing it on as of tomorrow or the next day. Uh, I'll see. But don't be surprised if I don't stream tomorrow. I need a break. I have been streaming non-stop over the past year. My throat's starting to kill me. <laughs> I've been screaming and shouting so much recently over the past few days. <sighs> but yeah, we did like a big giveaway today. And um, a lot of people got a whole bunch of treats. I uh, gave away a lot of high quality crates, for example. To all the people who uh, listened to me throughout all of this year with my silly ramblings, all, over the course of all of this year, like... With all the stupid things I've had to bring up, all the stupid seasonal things, all the silly mistakes, all the goofy little things. Like, remember when we had the likes of the skin balaclava? Oh no, suddenly, surely this is going to be discontinued to take it out of the game and it's going to be rare and everybody's going to think it's valuable. Nope, nothing happened and it, it's worthless now. <laughs> stupid little things like that, you know? So, to all the people who listen to this madman who doesn't stop talking about all the various stupid little things, I appreciate you. Thank you very much for your support. Thank you very much for watching me. Thank you very much for listening in. I hope. You make some wonderful profits over the course of these next few weeks. This is the time. This is the time where we start sending our skins. And this is the time where we make some sweet, ever so, ever so delicious looking profit. All right? It's going to be awesome. If it all works out well. <laughs> if it works out all right. So, um, yeah. That's basically it. If I go over to here, 
Quick refresh. What's that front page looking like now? Anything new? Has it changed? You're going to take your time again? Don't take your time. Move it. Come on. Do it. Come on. What's going on, Steam? I haven't got bad connection. What's going on? Oh, Perfect Craft. Thank you very much for subscribing. And no, it broke me. Crap. Come on. Work. There you go. Right. Uh, oh, gi giant candy decor. Santa's coat. Christmas gang pants. Yeah. Oh, clockwork portal. Are you are you a manipulation? You've got to be a manipulation, surely. I I don't even remember this existing. By default, this is what every regular person sees. But with the with great thanks to my Steam inventory helper extension, I click this, and I don't think that's legit. Not really. Uh, oh, of course not. Look at that. Yeah, pff, yeah. Sales history always proves it. <laughs> oh yes, this is really valuable. No, it's not. Look at it. So I would sit here and say, you see all of these builders here. Yep, see all of these builders here. Yeah, they're fake. They're the same people involved in the manipulation. So everything above two dollars, I'm pretty sure, is all the people who are involved in the manipulation. Don't touch this skin. Don't go near this skin. But if you do happen to own a clockwork portal armored door skin, yeah, just sell to the highest buy order. It ain't gonna stay up like this price forever. These are just people who are manipulating skins, trying to trick gambling websites and third party sites and whatnot. Yeah, it's just a normal situation. It's just yeah, it's, just, it's a common occurrence. So, uh, oh, Legacy Kevlar's on the front page. Are you going back up in price? Yes, you are. People are buying you again. Oh, that's nice to see. Yeah, there you go. That was quick. <laughs> Dead Morrows. Yeah. Christmas skins, Rust PJ, hoodie and pants. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, so we still have Christmas skins being bought. That's nice to see. There is still a good few days until Christmas. And I'm pretty sure people are still going to want to dress up like Santa and whatnot over the course of the rest of December because it's still like the festive season. So. All right, then. That's it. We're done. We're free. We're free. So go forth. Enjoy yourself. I'm not sure if I'm going to do a predictions video. I guess I might make a small one because there are some interesting things there. And like I said, please consider watching the Rust Workshop Skin Shapes video and the Abnormals video because I really do put in a good talk in regards to um, how to approach these brand new Christmas skins. And I think I very likely will be uh, probably making a different version of that talk and isolating it and then maybe adapt it a little bit more. Maybe that'll come out tomorrow. We shall see. We shall see. Yes, yes, yes. And so with that, uh, yeah, I'm all done. I'm all happy. I'm all good. So thank you very much for watching. Have a lovely Christmas. Have a lovely New Year. And we'll see what happens next. Catch you later. See you. Goodbye.